So YouTube, what's going on? Corey continuing. Welcome back to the Order 1886. Last episode, we had to uh, ally with the freaking Rebel Queen. Look at her. Look at her. Because she has some deep dark secret about the Order that she is about to expose. So uh, this way. Let's keep moving. On my mark. Be prepared to cover me. <laughs> Deserted. A very ill omen. They must have fallen back to regroup. We might only have a small window of opportunity before they return. Now, the proof woman. As you wish. <laughs> I just started dipping. <laughs> Where's the proof? Where's the proof? Give me the proof. Where is it? <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> What now? Inspect the cargo. Look for any distinguishing marks on the crates. All right. The crates we are looking for have the company's insignia on the sides. Like that one? Wait, let me see. Oh, so maybe we should see what the insignia Look looks the like. Insignia. It is a red stamp. Well, what the freak is this? I thought this was like a stamper. Maybe it is. Oh, here's one. Here. Yeah, this must be what we're looking for. Help me get this one down. The freak is about to be in this crate, though. Crowbar. Look hard, Knight. See the evil we both fight against. The vampires. It can't be. What? How? The half-breeds are consolidating their power. With the protection of the Lycans in your land, Hastings and his vampire ilk are spreading disease throughout your... Lord Hastings, you can't be one of them. Many have witnessed in Whitechapel, your noble lord roaming the streets late at night, preying on downtrodden women. The Ripper Gangs. That is what you call them. How do you think the murderer still continues to evade Commissioner Doyle's dragnet? Whitechapel has become the Kindred's feeding ground. Vampires are in this game? How many more of these are there? Enough to affect a city. My goodness! God's blood. Brad. Brad. And Lord Hastings is the freaking. Oh, we gotta set this place on fire. This cargo. Over here, I found some fuel. Yep. And we on fire. It's burning hot. Yeah, up in here, we on fire. All right, let me just calm down. Set the roof on fire. All right, let me just. Stop. <laughs> we gotta light this place up. All right. I'll light this one. Prepare another. Does it take so long? All right. Hurry up. That's enough. Oh my gosh. Just get out of my way. This one's ready. Now hurry up and get another one ready. Can't let these things spread. Done. Over here. 
What is this? Assist me to get up there. Yeah. <laughs> Let me look for something to help you up. All right. There's a ladder here. We can jump up there. But thank you kindly. Thank you. I found another fuel can. Are all of these? All of these too? Oh my gosh. This entire warehouse is getting burned to the floor. All right. This one's ready to be lit. Let's move on to the rest. Very well. Go! Take care of the remaining cargo. I'll deal with this one. Hmm. You're dead. You're dead. Target down. You're dead. There you go. Is that it? There are more crates below. We need to get down there. Alright. Get my reload game up. Oh my gosh. Laura Hastings is a freaking vampire? In the order? Keep them off me while I light the crates. Goodness. Light them all. That's the last of them. Oh, she about to get shot. It's locked. What is that randomly oh, doing? God. Oh shoot! Oh. There you go. <sighs> um, can I move? I'm scared, man. I ain't playing a game. Oh! Mm. Hold up, hold up. Where they at? Whoa! Whoa! I need to reload. Mm, nope. Yep. Oh gosh. Get the mm. Mm. They didn't tell you. They didn't tell you who I was. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yep. Where you go? Mm. Give me another one. Give me another one. That's two. Give me another one. Oh, thanks for the help. Forgot you were here. Rani, are you in there? Daddy! I'm not glad to hear your voice. Rani, are you hot? No. Not yet, but hurry! Break down the door! At once, Rani! Yo, they got all that weaponry. You just freaking blast a hole in the door. <laughs> oh! <laughs> he grabbing it like that? No! Oh. Um, R2. That's 
freaking go. Ah! I never thought to see you again, daughter. How did you find us? There's no time. The company's forces are gathering at the shipyard. We must flee. Night. Did not tempt fate. A work here is done. Yeah, can I get a thank you? Just saved your life twice. Saved her first time by taking the thing off of her, and then with that freaking shot. She ain't say nothing. This horror must be made known to the council. Tread carefully, Knight. The company could not succeed without powerful friends in the government. You saw on the docks how your own ranks have been infiltrated. If it is as you say, then surely I would. The have war suspected. has turned against the half breeds. They are now using the United India Company to spread terror throughout the world. You must help us. I'm a knight, sworn to protect the realm, not bring it crashing down. Then you must trust no one. Fare you well, knight. Would only we could have met on different circumstances. Where shall I find you? Whisper my name in Whitechapel, and I will be there. What? You a freaking magician? Man, this plot though. Chapter 10. Gray, what in the world is going on? Not now, is he? Don't walk away from me. I saw you at Whitechapel. What? You followed me? I was worried about you. You fled like a madman after the battle on the bridge. You know nothing. Less than nothing. Is this some kind of clandestine infiltration? Is that what you're up to? This isn't the time. Gray, what's happened to you? No. Oh. Ever since Mallory was killed, I look at you and... What? What do you see? I don't know. A stranger. Someone I'm not sure I can trust anymore. Whatever it is. For God's sake, tell me. Not this time, is he? And you do well to stay clear of me. For your own good. What happened to the team, though? You! Find General Lafayette and summon him to the library! I thought we were a squad. The conspiracy runs to the very heart of the council. This allegation is monstrous! I refuse to believe it. The Lord Chancellor will permit me, I can I will not permit! And you will say nothing more of these ridiculous suspicions. All the years I've known your father, never have I seen him so obstinate. Your allegations strike at the very heart of the Empire. I fear it cannot sustain another blow as great as the loss of Mallory. All he need do is journey to Blackwall Yard. For what evidence? The destruction was total. A clear case of arson, according to Commissioner Doyle. Apparently, a small group of rebels was seen on the docks. It was all rather... What is the word the Commissioner is so fond of? Oh, yes. Elementary. Now, what do you think? I have no opinion. Should you wish, I can attempt to persuade the Lord Chancellor to put the matter before the Council. Well, if it is true that we have a traitor in our midst, word is bound to get back to the conspirators. What do you propose? Breach the walls of the United India House under cover of night. Any information that will shed light on the events of the last few days must surely be found there. Trespass on the company's headquarters. You are cut from the same cloth as Mallory. Drastic circumstances call for drastic measures. Oh. I would have your assistance, Alistair. I hardly think it proper for the Knight Commander to be you seen... You know the lay of the land. I will need your guidance to navigate the uh -oh. grounds of the United India House. If a conspiracy is to be revealed, your testimony will carry weight with your father. Looking about to join the squad. Very well. But the two of us alone will not suffice to infiltrate the compound. If what you say is true, there are precious few we can trust. My sister, Lafayette. I cannot involve them until I have more evidence. Then who? I might know just the person who can help us. I thank you, brother. Hmm. Mm. 
freaking like seeing stuff like that. We're approaching the United India House. I assume we're not planning to enter through the front door. Not to worry. I've made preparations for our incursion. Gaining access to the compound proved to be a little more difficult than planned. So all we're doing here is showing Luke in that we're telling the truth just so he can have a testimony to his dad. Another mission that I don't feel is worth it. Back entrance to the compound. You could say that. Because you know it's going to be a lot of shooting up in here. Somebody might die. Let's get it. Chapter 11, Brothers in Arms. I'd like to get out of the rain, kindly. Oh, evening, sir. Francis? Francis? <laughs> What's this? Yeah, I'm checking out your documents, Francis. What are you gonna do? It won't be everything long in flesh? The truth is revealed. Sebastian. It's room. Ordinances on the table. Rooftop accesses to the bedroom. You've done well, Francis. At your service, sir. Hmm. Francis served in the Commonwealth forces. Hmm. All right. All these documents, though. <gasps> Ooh. What is this? Hey, crossbow. Crossbow. Brings back memories. Ancient ones of that. Thought it best we stay silent on this mission. Mm. Let's get going. Compound is patrolled all through the night. Guards man all entrances. Ain't good. What's the incursion point? The gardens. Should provide us enough cover to move in unnoticed. Follow me. Should head to the rooftops. Wait, who? who's the third person that Galai was talking about? I just knew he was going to be talking about the queen, but it's just two of us. Come, brother. This way. Can I, can I jump up? Dang, this dude Lucan is a beast. All right. Let's continue. Yo, look at Lucan though. This dude is a monster. All right, can I jump? Oh my god. Almost freaking fell to my death, man. And it's raining. Slippery grip. These dudes got fingertips like legends. Almost there. There you go. His intelligence does pan out. A trustworthy man, it seems. Not really. He has a debt to repay. Failure to deliver on his word would prove most unpleasant to him. Uh, locate an anchor point. We need to find a safe anchor point in the garden to secure the rope to. Quite a dramatic entrance you've planned. Well, that may be, but we should be able to enter the ground. Gazebo seems to fit the parameters. Good. Let's deploy the line. All right. Done. Alistair. Yo, that could have made a lot of noise. Spot my path. Once I'm clear, I'll give you the go-ahead to enter. Very well. 
Uh, do be careful. My sister wouldn't forgive me if I were to return alone. What she doesn't know cannot hurt her. Mm. Okay. I just know this mission is going to go wrong. Woo! <clears throat> Oh, shoot. Good night. Yeah, freaking, he doesn't care about killing people. I think it's unwise to eliminate company guards until we have proof. Now it's not time, Alistair. You have to trust me. This is the only way. Just get to the lower garden. The gate will be locked. You will need to find the key. Okay, so I don't have any guns for this part. Oh, that was pretty simple. I found the gate. Very well. Find the guard who has the key. Understood. What? I have to assassinate all of them? Alright. Well, let me get the ammo. What's this? District, district paralyzed by a power failure. Oh, good boy! Mm. You got the key? Great. Mm-hmm. There are still more guards to search. Hey! Then make your way through to the lower garden. Finally. I think he was actually the last guard, too. I had to kill all of them just to find this guy. Let's get this key. Thank you for your donation. Now, get through this garden. Uh-oh. I ain't playing no games. I ain't getting spotted today. Alright, let's go. Alright, you guys, we're gonna proceed in the next episode. Uh oh, hold up. This dude trying to get my intro, trying to jack up my intro or outro. We're gonna continue in the next episode. Hopefully, we don't freaking die or Luke and dies or I I'm just through with losing people in this series. So, hopefully, you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, be sure to sister sister samurai, smash that like button, subscribe to Daily Join Samurai, and until next time, my brothers and sisters. <laughs>